Hey, what's up everyone? It's TK here. TK Door Scars. It's been a good minute since I did a video. Got a review. Pretty late night. Well, this game a little later on during the day in the morning. But anyways, we got a review for anime called Ken and Busters. I stumbled across the anime a couple days ago. I was just randomly looking for anime. I saw it. Um, it actually is it's like brand new. It just came out like maybe a week or two ago it, according well according to why I use my main list it's not that many people that watched it it's only like a thousand people that watched it so far so it was fresh new uh, I saw it on Netflix well I, I ain't originally seen it on Netflix I was on like the anime website and then I happened to look on Netflix and it was on there so I was like okay all episodes are already out so we don't gotta wait weekly and I kinda prefer to watch some animes like in one scene so yeah Let's get into the setting. Hold on, I, I got some little notes because I want to be more on track with anim with my anime reviews and stuff. Hey, you just I was gonna stand up, but uh, I don't got no pants on. Not not, not pants, but you know, I gotta get this air. But uh, yeah. So I got some guideline notes and stuff. I had to jot I jot down certain stuff that I didn't want to leave out on this anime. But as you can see right there, I'm using OBS, so we got the little picture right there. We got the cast, we got Sam, we got Casey, and we got Philly the kid. And then they also showing this kid right here. So I'm guessing, I mean, this kid don't really talk. I don't really consider a kid, but Bessie, which is actually a car that is owned by uh, Philly, he, it could transform into like this bull, which you see right there. Um. So yeah. Billy, he's the main character. He's the protagonist of this, of this uh, anime, or one of the protagonists. He's an outlaw. Uh, he's he has a bounty on his head. Everyone wants to kill him. Everyone's trying to get his money. He has a huge price on his head. Not exactly sure what he did for this bounty to be on him, but it's a pretty big bounty. Uh, and he also has something that's unique about him. He is immortal due to some events that happened early in his life. He met like some sorceress and he made him immortal. And uh, Billy's, uh, I mean, my man, not Billy. I don't know why I say Billy. Philly. Philly, uh, his, uh, I guess you could say his goal is kind of unclear until you kind of uh, see a little bit of his past, which show a little bit later on in the season. And, but you kind of get, like, you kind of get a little. Uh, I don't know the proper word, but you kind of, kind of know why he's doing what he's doing. I, I, I'm not really trying to spoil the anime. I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, so I'm, I will be. You see, I'm, a, I'm pausing this though. I'm not trying to spoil the anime for those who want to actually do watch it. So I'm trying to keep it spoiler free. But yeah, you'll see a little bit of his past, and you'll kind of know why, or know what his goal is in the, the story here. Um. So yeah. Then we got uh, Sam, she's uh, Android, little robot, uh, she's, uh, I guess you could say she's with the royal family, Her, the prince is pretty much who she's looking for in this story, um, that's all I'm going to say, yeah, but she's, she, she's an Android, she's from this royal family, she's the prince like companion, and Pretty much only friend, I guess you would say. So yeah, they got separated somehow, which you'll see on like early, like I guess like I think first episode you should kind of give the backstory of that. But you'll see they get separated, so she's looking for him, the prince, you know, because some events that occur. And then we got Casey. We don't have that much of a backstory of her. It's a girl character. Um, she's also a, she's also a robot. She likes to fix things. Really didn't get too much of a backstory on her. We just know that she likes, she finds stuff, and she fixes it. She ended up meeting Casey along her little, her little uh, journey or adventure or whatever she was doing. Make sure this thing recording. Okay, it's recording. All right. So um, the scene is like a western. You get like a western feel, like a western kind of cowboyish feel, like in like a desert or whatnot type of feel. Um, as you probably know, the character is not not a uh, Japanese. Well, maybe they could be Japanese. I don't know. But uh, yeah, 
it's more, more, more most of the characters you see are I guess you could say brown, black, whatever you want to call it. There are other lots of different unique characters. You got like a mole type character. They got a lizard man character. They got some uh, other robot characters and other creatures and stuff like that. It's, it's a whole different variety of different species and characters right there, but I don't really think this is like a Japan scene for that anime. I think it's like some type of western urban type area. But the world the world is like fantasy, like a fantasy-ish uh, world. Got magic. Well, magic is kind of like kind of gone now, but it still has like some kind of some magical beings in the area in the world somewhere that you will kind of see on this anime and whatnot. Uh, I think that's all I want to say about that right there. Just make sure I'm following my guidelines. Make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I already talked about y'all. I already told y'all a little bit about like Philly's goal and Sam's goal of the story. I mentioned the prince. Like she's trying to reunite with the prince, which she she's just like friend and companion. Uh, the other anime that actually shows a little bit of the prince activity because he's with uh, one of his guards. He's with one of his guards. They're on their way to. Uh, I guess this is some some guard place. And uh, Sam, she's also on her way there as well because she's. I guess she already she she automatically uh, actually no mind. She did know where he was going because the opening part. I mean, the backstory part that she showed there. She talked about it actually. So that's how she know where he is at. So she's heading there. But they show little glimpses and stuff of the prince with this uh, guard making a journey throughout the uh, anime. It's not much, but it shows a little bit of it. it. Shows what they're doing, what they're up to, stuff like that. And then they also show a little bit of the other scenery at the palace at, or the kingdom where his father is at. Uh, and uh, captive, I should say. It's being his wife's father is being held captive by this mysterious uh, unknown until they tell you, because they tell you kind of early on, of this character. This character, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say who the character is, because they kind of reveal the character is, and just by them revealing that, you should get a good feel of like why this character is doing what the character is doing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really have to speak on that. If y'all watch it, y'all will automatically get know like, okay, yeah, I get it. Um, so yeah, that's it for the characters. Talk about story, talk about the main characters. Um, art. Let's talk about the art design. I, I like the art design of the characters. The characters look nice. I like the sound design. She got the nice blonde hair, got the green eyes. You know, we got the brown, nice skin tone. We got Casey, you know, she's a, a pale white robot. You know, she got the nice color eyes, voices are, are nice and good. Well, I, I ain't actually watched the sub one though. I, I, I watched on Netflix and uh, I, of course Netflix has sub I, I options, but I was just like, okay, let just watch it in the dub. The English dub. I watch animes in English dubs too. I don't really, not, I am kind of picky on certain anime, so I am picky on certain anime. Some anime are like, no, we don't watch the sub, but yeah, I, I didn't mind listening to it into the English dub, so yeah. But, um, yeah, the art on the anime is nice. I like it. It's got some nice colors. Uh, the character designs is real nice. Real nice looking anime, you know? Nice, colorful. Nice character designs. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, music wise, it has some nice music. The opening song is a uh, different. It's not, it's not really a. I'm not really sure this is an actual. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume it is. I wasn't sure if this was like actual like Japanese anime or just like American company trying to make some anime because you know there are companies that are doing it nowadays but uh, it's not the uh, typical it's not it's not like the Japanese type song that's for the intro or the outro it's like uh, like some smooth R&B not like really rap it's like it's like yeah some R&B like like something like Neo, I actually, that my, it kind of sounds like him. I don't think that's Neo though, but it sounds like, you look, you sound like like some, like some artists like Neo. That's the only artist I can really pop in my mind that doesn't like do that. It's just like some R&B type stuff or, or like Earth or something like that, you know. But the music is nice. 
the, the opening, the ending is very nice. Um, the action type soundtrack, I really don't have any memorable ones to mention. But I think the music, I think this game had, I mean, my bad, I don't know why I say game. I think this game has some nice uh, music going on. So with that being said, I got all the all the guidelines I wanted to talk about. Talk about story, the art, the music, the characters, the story, all that good stuff. Um, now, I guess my overall thoughts and the rating. On uh, my anime list, I gave this a 6, which is like a fine. You no, know, um, it also just give it like a rating. Like I don't, I don't really like the brains. That's like the big rings. Like I like, got like one and you go all the way to ten. I usually like do like a like oh, I usually do my number rings. I do like one to five. I'm just telling you my Miami list rating. My Miami my, my anime list rating. I gave it a six. Um, but if I was do it to rate it one out of five on that type of scale, I would say it's a it's like a three point five. I give it like a 3.5. It's a pretty fine, cool anime. You know, it's not. Uh, I want to say it's. It's not all that. But it's not. I don't know how to word it. It's not all that, but it's it's a pretty nice, cool anime to watch. You know, it's not nothing too serious. Uh, it is mature though. It do have some. Like cuss words in it, get kind of partial newly on not that much, but it's like like one episode, I think. Yeah, a little bit. The certain area that was in, but it's like, like a lot of strong language, it's like a kind of mature anime. But oh, yeah, overall, I, 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 it's like a 3.5. It's it's okay, it's fine. No, it's it's a cool anime to check out and watch. Um. It's just not. It's not all that to me, though. Yeah, at some point as well, like, oh, that's cool. It's nice. Like, they have part. I'm not gonna say it, but I did mention that he's immortal, right? So he's immortal, and he actually, when he dies, he gets the number, and pretty much just counting the times he died. So one of the times he died, it was a cool thing they did. I, I really like like the art stuff they did on there. I was like, yeah, certain stuff. I was like, that's cool. Or like uh, like certain moments on the anime, I feel like they were, that's cool, you know. But I just didn't think the story was that strong, I guess. And like it was just certain stuff I just wasn't like feeling like they you know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it's a good anime. Well, it's an okay, fine anime. I'm gonna give y'all my my that's my my anime list description for six. It's a fine. It's fine, you know. It's fine. It's a good. It's a cool, nice watch, you know. Um, this anime is not complete though. Cause how it ended, it gotta be a season two. So we will uh, be doing a review for that season two whenever that drops. Be on the lookout for that. But my main list, I give it a six and a one to five scale rating. I give it a three point five. That is the anime canon busters. Go check it out. Give it a watch if you watch it. And uh, wanna come back and leave your feedback. Give me your thoughts on it. Feel free to do that. I'm TK, TK Redora's car. Till next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace.